Now, this story is the second part in a trilogy. It centres on the key character of Barney. Uh, take us through his life at Punchbowl High, Boys High School, very much as a lot of, a lot of our viewers would know in the centre of media attention in recent years. Well, the book is set around the year 2000 when there was a series of incidents Nationally, nationally and globally, which dramatically impacted the perception of young Arab Australian Muslim men. And I happened to go to a school where there was a large percentage of those young men, and that school had barbed wires and cameras. There was a lot of violence inside the school, a lot of negative attitudes to your, towards young women, a lot of homophobia. And um, on the outside, there were news reports about, you know, young Arab Australian Muslim men, lebs, as my book uh, calls them, uh, you know, being pigeonholed as sexual predators, as terrorist suspects, as um, drug dealers and drive-by shooters. And so I wanted to tell the story from the inside, the perspective of a leb on those accounts about who we are. And uh, which takes us back to Barney, the protagonist and his teenage years, having to navigate his way through all of this... Uh, was it autobiographical? Um, the genre that I write in is called autobiographical fiction, so it's a fictionalised account, but it's based on my real-life experiences as a leb myself, as a young Arab-Australian Muslim man growing up in a climate of xenophobia and uh, Islamophobia, which had constructed us as a bit of a folk devil in um, the perception of the Western media and the Western political um, gaze. And Barney in the book tries to, uh, at least for a lot of the novel, break away from, from his culture. Was that your experience as well, trying to push back against all that criticism by disassociating yourself with your uh, Arab heritage? Well, a, a lot of, I think, second and third generation Lebanese or Australian Muslims who, you know, in recent years have been called things like mistakes of the Fraser government, um, uh, often feel conflicted about their identities. And so I did develop self-hating tendencies as a young man. And uh, actually, the Lebs is about the journey for Bani Adam. And I'll tell you in Arabic, the name Bani Adam means humankind or child mm. of Adam. And so I wanted to talk about the universalities of this young man being conflicted in this particular n narrative and coming to the realisation that he's beautiful just the way he is. There's nothing wrong with who we are and we should actually embrace it, not push up against it, um, because that's what it means to be Australian. This is a story about being a young Arab Australian Muslim. It's, it's a very compelling and a very confronting read, as you say, set 17, 18 years ago. Let's fast forward. What, what's the lived experience now, yours, but also, most importantly, the young kids you teach in this uh, group called Sweatshop you've set up in South West Sydney, this literacy program for so, Arab Australians? Well, it's not just for Arab Australians. It's pretty much for everybody from a culturally and linguistically diverse background. It is based in the western suburbs of Sydney, and we work in partnership with organisations like Westwards, the Western Sydney Literature Development Organisation, and Western Sydney University. And the goal of Sweatshop is to empower culturally diverse communities through reading, writing and critical thinking. And it's based on the work of an important African-American cultural theorist named Bell Hooks, who argues that all steps towards freedom and justice in any culture are always dependent on mass-based literacy movements because degrees of literacy determine how you see what you see. OK, book number three as we wrap up on, on its way. Um, yep, so I'm currently working on uh, the, the third book in, in this trilogy of Banny Adams' life. And um, I think it will look at the final stage. So the first book looked at him as a child. This book is one of the most pivotal moments. He's a teenager. And the third book will look at what it means for him, for Benny Adam, to become a, a man and an adult um, in the post-9-11 era. Excellent. We look forward to the TV ad adaptation, hopefully at some stage, Mohammed. Thank you. And I also want to finish by saying salamu alaikum, which in the language of my ancestors means peace be upon you. And peace be upon you too. Thanks very much for coming in and having a chat, Mohammed. Thank you.